I love these fixes. Two food, one production. And then it goes to five food, one production. Oh yeah, what a tell. Also, I really, really, really wish that I could just kill all of these, but I can't. These goddamn apostles, get them out of my empire. Here's flight. And more importantly, observation balloons, which combined with bombard cores that already have the range upgrade, become what I like to call ridiculous bombard cores. So here's an observation balloon. We'll get out to the front line momentarily. In the meantime, this Janissary is going to mince down a pikeman. How dare you be an anti-melee unit in my sight. Bang! And the walls are gone. As usual, the best thing to do after getting flight is to immediately go in for radio to see if we've got aluminium and if we do we're going to go for advanced flight oh yeah it's such a good top of a tech tree in the latest stages of the game you just get so much stuff all of my units are just sending on a long march over to rose park we're going to build the railway up and we're just going to take this area by force i think that's the best thing to do i've also got a settler coming in would you stop shooting my bomb board for what what's wrong with them Oh, Lisbon. I literally just got like, oh, just too much stuff happening. Right, just shush, shut up and die, everybody. Ooh, I get 200 diplomatic favor. Like, just before a world, two turns before a world congress. Actually works quite nicely for me. Lovely. Now, if I put the observation balloon here, I've now got a range of four. Look at that, bang. I can shoot it over the top and kill that tower unit just for existing. Ah, oh, lovely. That city's mine. Pretty sure there's no other Maori city in the area. No. No, that's wonderful. That's all good. I still have no idea where that English city is, though. No idea. I mean, it's probably somewhere in the frozen north. I would hazard a guess, but I just don't know. I keep forgetting I can do a Golden Age war. Sorry, Kama. I'm now at war with you, as well as the rest of the world. I kind of want to draw their units out. But also, this city is quite handy. I just come into here. And, uh, oh yeah, look at that. I can uh, do half of, its, uh, half of its health in one go. Plus, I'm getting really, really, really annoyed at their profits, just continually walking around. So if the odd troop just sort of were to spawn here and there, um, I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. 76 gold per turn is a great deal. Oh, I'm never going to take that like flipping city just on the island there. So that works well for me. And England wants 157 gold per turn. Yes, please. I'll let you have your one city. That's great. That's doubled my gold per turn, like within the space of about five seconds, which is wonderful. Let's go for encampments. I like that. And then production. Look at this. That means I can build my planes really quickly once that comes through. I don't know if I'm going to win any of these because people have got a lot of votes, but let's have a look. Yes, production and encampment. Oh, I did win. Look at that. How lovely. So... Let's just continue to take this city. Uh, like so. Great. Well, hey. That's really cool. Okay, you, Mr. City. Um, I need a couple of trade routes from you. Like, uh, actually, that's all you can do. Fair enough. Well, I need you to improve nice and quickly so that when I build an airport, you build it quick. Here we are, everybody. The best time in the game. It's railway time. Oh, my world is complete. For another day. Oh, a science boost. Is that the one? Oh, I could just pop it in the Pantanal. You know what? Let's do that. Wabam. And now I've got radio. But do I have aluminium? I do, I've got aluminium underneath the Warlord's throne. That seems rather apt. Fantastic. I think there's some by London. That's fine. There's some under a volcano that my builder is literally just by smashing. Uh, this one. Oh, that's underneath an industrial zone. Even better. And then finally one over here. You know what? That is ten. That is ten whole sources of aluminium. I think I'm going to go for advanced flight. What, what do you reckon? Oh my god, I found a tribal hut. Oh, ho, 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 ho. it's 1460 AD. But I've still found one. I'm very excited. I did, yeah, I mean, that, that is a good point. That is Coupe's capital. I, did, I thought I had it over here, but I didn't. That was their de facto capital. The Kemmer took it ages ago. The Kemmers are just warmongers. Oh, look at all these religious units. Oh, oh, oh I'm very sorry, but I have found you now. That, that's brazen. The missionary actually stood on the tile with my Janissary on it. 
I mean, of course you're going to get condemned. What are, what are you talking about? Everyone, everyone is just going to get condemned right now. Oh, it's my favorite game. Just who can, who can we not condemn? Ideology, the time of the game when everything becomes fun. Because we've got some really cool things now. Economic, so this commercial hub and harbor district one is really, really good. Uh, Grand Army, we don't need anymore. That's, that's totally pointless because quite frankly, we've got enough army. Um, National identity, we don't really need. Wars of religion will be handy. Levy on mass will be handy. I think I might get the plus one movement from logistics just as I'm moving all my units around for now. That'll be quite, yeah, that'll be quite good. Public works, I can't be asked to build us anymore. So let's get five year plan in to get the industrial zone adjacency, which is nonsensically good. And then yeah, uh, economic union, the commercial hub and harbor districts. So that should give me a load more gold, a load more science and a load more production. Not to mention all of these very, very beautiful mil military engineers which are now in the process of connecting up my empire. HS302. I said HS302, didn't I? I mean HS2. Oh, HS302 is a tax form. Why am I... Oh, I don't need to know about UK treaty relief, I just want to talk about trains and my job has infiltrated me while I'm playing Civ. <laughs> oh god. This is literally like a game of whack-a-mole, just every turn it's just like, can I kill the apostles? They will not get through, god damn it. So I'm gonna get fascism, because plus 5 combat strength, war weariness reduction, and 50% production towards units, all of those things are brilliant. What's in tribal hut? Plus one population. Oh, that's for this city. Oh, look at that. This city's becoming wonderful already. Hooray! Advanced flight. Oh, yeah. You know what? We've already built up 36 aluminium. I think we're going to have to start building some bombers. Especially because right now, bombers are half price. Oh, hoo -hoo. this is going to be good. And, and, oh, I've got fascism coming up as well. Ooh, everywhere needs to build an aerodrome. Aerodromes for all. Hooray! Okay, now that I've got advanced flight, I could probably get something useful like replaceable parts, which would give me more food. A novel tribal hut. In 1500. I mean, let's have a try. 20 diplomatic favour. Oh, that'll go down handy. Well, theocracy, it was a fun run. But now I'm a fascist. A good old fashioned fascist. <laughs> With a ton of red cards. Oh my goodness, this is just ridiculous. So, uh, total war. Third alternative from uh, culture and gold from research lab, military academy, power core plant. Oh yes, please. That is a wonderful policy for me. Okay, we got one more wild card. I believe uh, martial law accumulate 25% less war weariness. Oh, that's quite fun. I might do that one just for the hell of it. And then logistics, we're moving out of my territory now. So I'm going to go for the 25% war weariness. So we should be getting like zero war weariness right now. I wonder how much I've actually picked up over this time. Zero. Perfect. All my cities will be firing on full th uh, cylinders for the foreseeable future. Lovely. Uh, actually, Siegeville was just been building me military engineers. I've got about 10 of these things now. And that's not enough. We don't have enough military engineers. Although, saying that, with these couple that have now joined at the tips, <laughs> we've now linked up Theopolis with Rose Park all the way through to White Flag. So we're getting there, we're getting there. This frigate is literally just sailing around pillaging harbors and, and stealing trade routes and he must have made me about 2,000 gold by now. It's absolutely amazing, just this one frigate. Oh, I forget about how joyous is just the art of pillaging is on this game and uh, I don't know why I keep forgetting. So much fun. Ooh, wonder construction. That's always a fun one. Um, I mean, what could, what could we build? Are there any wonders still available? Oh, Forbidden City. Oh, that's a good one. That's a lovely one. That's like a sort of free social policy card sort of level of, of lovely. Let's just switch you there immediately. Pop that. Oh, Four turns to that. That's that's wonderful. Well, Vilnius, you represent effectively the beginning of the end. There's the declare war declaration. We're going to start making our way up this continent. It took us a little bit of time to re-maneuver our units, but 
you know, we did it pretty quickly. I like to think we did it pretty ably as well. Here comes the Yanisari. 98. Oh, come on. Ugh. How petty. <laughs> uh, where's our nearest bombard? Oh, there you are. Right, come on. Get your ass in gear. Between fascism and the world government, I can build a bomber in two turns. Two turns. I mean, honestly. That's just ridiculous. <laughs> I'll take that. Wonderful. Also, Turkish Delight, you need to hurry up. I don't know why I just don't know why I build Pag and Shot. You need to hurry up and get me the War Department. There we go. That'll do. That'll keep me uh, firing on all cylinders when it comes to healing units as I do the damage. Uh, right, these Janissaries should be in there. I've got the 10% Seraska. I've got the 5 Fascism. I've got the 10 for attacking cities, plus 4. So that's a 98 strength unit as opposed to, it should be, a uh, 70. So that's a plus 28 bonus I've got going along here. Wow. I'll take that. Oh, I hate when they do this. They passed a military emergency against me, but literally it's just the people who were already fighting me. Ah, oh, that's okay. I've got bombers now. So, you know, we're, we're, we're happy. We're happy little chickens. With our little bombers flying through the air. We base you all the way over here. Oh, God, I love it. I might even treat myself to an airstrip as well. Actually, was it was it two bombers that were made in the same turn? Yes. There's another one here as well. I've got to say, both just happen to be on tiles where traders are on as well, which is really annoying. Okay, you fly with Spursa. Next turn, Vilnius is going to get a bit of a headache. 25 pop cap with Pingala. That's just ridiculous. And also, mechanized in uh, agriculture? Mechanized agriculture. There we go. I've got it. <laughs> Look at these food tiles. Seven, five, eight, seven, eight, six, eight. Oh, I love mechanized. It's just, it's just so good. And now I've got bombers as well. And you can see, I can't quite reach to the really cool places, but I can get pretty close. Uh, this bomber, actually, look at that. 110 base strength, 5 from fascism, 4 from wars of religion, 9 from my governor, 1, 2, 9 range strength. Bang. I mean, there's just not even any point. Like, why bother? Just at this point, just, just lie down, roll over, and show me your belly. Because I can't, I can't lose. I can't lose! In fact, I should just stick a new city down here as well. Just purely, so that I can put more bombers there. Oh no! In the most unfortunate of newses, Preslav has declared war on me. Oh dear. Well, the most annoying thing, really, is the fact that I've now got to put Ibrahim back down in a new city. Alright, here we go. Put you on, Vilnius. Lovely. Right. I think my bombers are going to have to become antiquated with all of these troops. It's just a case of, sort of, how do I get over? I've got these military engineers. They're doing quite well. They're slowly building a railway up to the front lines so that I can attack them. And ideally, I want to take on Lisbon and Preslav. Kind of take them both on. I mean, I've got a straight run, really, into the enemy empire. I've got bombers literally being produced from the Wazoo. In fact, I've got another couple that have just been produced. Where's my aluminium at? Oh, look, it's still, still don't get it. I've still got a huge surplus of aluminium, so that's all good fun. There's an English Kira cell. That's interesting. Oh, there they are. I've just spotted them. Oh, I'm tempted to go kill them just because. <laughs> just because. But this is kind of a little bit of a bottleneck. Not in terms of I can't get through, but just in terms of, like, being awkward. So I want to upgrade to inventory as well, but I can't here because I've got no oil. There's a lot of different like pulls at the moment and I'm just trying to find the best way through. Ah, hello Preslav. Meet my bomber with 110 strength upgraded to 119. Wabam. Is that half of your walls gone in one go? Oh, that's a shame, isn't it? Hmm. Maybe you should have thought twice about attacking me. Should we see what's inside this goody hat? Ooh. Yeah, experience. Sometimes it's really funny when you're like, you have found the secrets to nuclear fusion. You're like, what? Where did you get those? <laughs> I always like those ones. Oh, you see, like, Carthage is doing this stupid, stupid thing where they're, oh, they're just insisting on, like, landing single units on my shores. I just don't care. One little bomber. And then two little bombers. 
cavalry. In we come. Kranzlav is mine. How lovely. And I've still got two bombers to use. I mean, actually, it's pretty damn good. Let's move the bombard to here. Oh, I thought I'd get a bit of visibility. Oh, actually, you can just shoot anyway. Shoot. Get yourself experience. Let's bomb that one. Lovely. And one more bomber here, which I can use to... Can't see any cities, so let's just bomb a field cannon. Why not? So there we have it. Preslav. Here is a railway that goes down from Preslav all the way through Kompangsve, all the way through Bursa, Rose Park, Turkish Delight, Theopolis, Constantinople, Siegeville, all the way through Gobbleton, Ruin, Liverpool, London, Plymouth, Leeds, Stoke to Granada. Done it. The Empire is pretty much connected. Phew. 